Business Calculus, Topic 3, Homework Problem Number 6. The cost of producing X teddy bears per day at the Cudley Companion Company is calculated by their marketing staff to be given by the formula. Cost function will equal 100 times 36 times X items minus 0 0.09 times X squared items. Okay, and we have to find the exact cost of producing the 101 teddy bear. Well, I need to know how much it costs to make the 101 teddy bear and also how much it costs to make the 100th. So let's stop with that, start with that. So the exact cost to make 101 teddy bears. Okay, let's take our calculators and let's type 101 and store that into X. And then we're going to type in our equation, the cost function, 100 plus 36X minus 0.09x squared. Okay, so that's going to be 28,1791. Okay, so 28,1791 uh, cents. Now, let's how much, see how much it costs to make 100 teddy bears. So I want to take 100, store that into x, and then call up my equation again, and I get 2,800. Okay. So the exact cost to make the 101 teddy bear, remember, it costs us $2,800 so far to make 100 ones. When we make the 101st, the cost is now 2,817.91. So that means that it went up by $17.91 in order to make that one that 101st teddy bear. Now according to our um, derivative function when we make the 100th teddy bear the rate of the next one here according to the derivative is $18. We're asked to find the difference between the derivative um, estimation of the 101st or how to say how much everything costs after 100 and how much it actually cost. So the derivative told us $18, but when we actually calculated, we got $17.91. And the difference there is nine cents. Okay, now, furthermore, we're being asked also to find the average cost function. The average cost function will be the cost function itself all divided by x. So the cost function here is going to be 100 plus 36x minus 0.09x squared. And we're going to divide all that by x. So when we divide this by x ind individually, we're going to get 100 over x. 36 divided by x is just 36. And x squared divided by x gives me 0.09x. And so this is going to be your, excuse me, it's going to be your average cost function. Now, now that we have our average cost function, we want to look at, well, what happens when we have 100 items? What will be the average cost of 100 items? So everywhere I see an x, we're going to put 100. So this will be 100 divided by 100 plus 36 minus um, 0 0.009 times 100. This is going to equal 1 plus 36, and this is going to go over twice, that will be plus 9. Um, looks like forty-six dollars. I want to recheck my math to make sure I'm doing that correctly. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed that negative sign. Oh, okay. So let's put that negative sign in there. Okay, so this will be thirty-seven minus nine, and thirty-seven minus nine is going to give us twenty-eight. So. All right, so that'll be 28. Um, that'll be the average cost of producing 100. Also, the of also producing the first 100 as well. It's still 28 bucks per teddy bear.